First up, we have the inventory setup. Step one, get the plugin called Menu Stones Hider. Turn everything on, bam, inventory's gone. Next up, stretch mode. You're gonna want this and you're gonna wanna be on the classic resizable uh, because of the menu stones hider. I also have a mouse tool tips disabled. And if there's any other plugin that's at, you know, sometimes it says, as you can see here, it says use knife. If I remove it, it says nothing. So I don't have any text that keeps like showing up. Uh, makes it a lot more convenient for me. Once we have the menu stones hider enabled and we have fixed just the mouse server stuff, for now, I am just enabling it as I'm setting it up. Once we've done that, we go into the stretch mode. And then our job is to get the locks to fit onto the salvaging hooks. Some people might prefer going even bigger on the stretched. Just remember, the more zoomed in you are, the more the stretch mode has to be in terms of the scaling. I have pretty accurate clicks and I don't really like having to you know, do big flicks all the time. So I settle on this. Just remember, the more you zoom out, the less mouse movement you have to do, but the more punishing, uh, the easier it is to, to misclick it as well. But this is my preferred distance for mouse traveling. Once we have those lined up, we will then go into, I use screen marker groups, which I have here. I prefer it over original screen marker plugin, just because this way you can group things. So you don't have to spend a lot of time setting this up now. And then having to remove it and then enable it again in the future by re-adding. This way it's just, it's just a convenient little group that you have. These screen markers that I use is, I use one for the knife. And what's important about this one is, well, about the three lower ones at least, is I have a rule that if it is in a colored square, it will work. You don't have to be ultra pixel precise. You can make them a little bit smaller and just, you know, go roll with it. But for the knife, I just kind of do like this. So everything in the green means this is the knife um, square. The ones for the locks have two rules. Obviously, the first one is you're going to want the lock to, to be inside the, the square. And then you're going to want the, the salvaging hook to also be anywhere inside the square. So you can adjust them a little bit, figure out once you have it working. Then I have another screen marker, which is my entire inventory, as you can see here. Because you're going to have a lot of visual clutter, you're going to have salvage show up in your inventory here, etc., etc. And it's going to be a nightmare to figure out how much, like, when do you need to quick deposit into your cargo. So I just have it darked out a bit, makes it easy to see, and everyone is happy. Can't even go as far as putting it down here. Can kind of do however you prefer. Um, I did, however, mess up my inventory. I think this was it. Yep, there we go. All right. So now that we have this set up, I am going to disable my mouse tooltips. And then I'm going for the secret sauce, which is custom menu swaps. I have these two lines. I am going to paste them in the description on the, on the video. And you're gonna be able to just copy this, paste it in. What this does is that if you're hovering an item, let's say the mahogany locks or the teak locks, if the first option is use, it will literally just hide. And because of the hide, um, because of the, what was it, the hide stones, um, menu stone hider, because of that, you are able to click through your inventory. Um, now where the real magic shines is, uh, let's see, 
There we go. There we go. So where the real magic shines is because of the menu entry, uh, menu, uh, sorry, custom menu swaps, it is only when you're hovering here, hovering on the locks, that it will just, you know, deploy the salvage hooks instead. However, if you use a knife first, it will, as you can see in the top left corner, use knife on mahogany locks, which means it will still, you can still start the cut like this. So if you're trying to interact with an object, it will interact. And then if you're not interacting, as you can try and see here, I am not, I haven't clicked anything. I just move over and I deploy the salvage hooks. However, if I try and move up here, just for simplicity, I click the knife, I click the lock, and you can see that I start fletching. So that's basically the secret sauce behind the custom menu swaps. Um, then I use visual metronome, which is, I've set it up super simple. One tick count and number of colors on three, because it's a three tick cycle this way. I always like to start by clicking the knife and then once it says one, I do a double click on the lock. And because of the custom menu swaps, the first click will begin fletching the lock and the second click will cancel fletching the lock and will click the salvaging hook. So you don't have to do any like side movements or anything uh, when you're doing this kind of activity specifically. Um, so yeah. That's basically how it works. And then in order to get into it, you just take the knife. Uh, let's see there. So I click the knife and then double click. Knife, double click, knife, double click, knife, double click, knife. And the good thing about this kind of way of setting it up is if you have like me a um, trend of twitchy fingers, like I actually just had in this example, where I intend to click two times, but I actually only click like three times, then it doesn't matter because your mouse is already on the salvaging hook. You're not clicking anywhere off to the side. You're not misclicking. You can click as many times on these salvaging, salvaging hooks as you want to um, in the process of like knife. You know, you can do knife and then 10 clicks if you want. Um, it's really not punching at all. And because I have one crewmate on the boat, um, who is on the helm. The camera will be static, kind of like the test camera. However, I can interact with objects. For now, I have no crewmates on the boat. I am going to have that from tomorrow when cleaning the salvage is getting bucked on XP. For now, I'm just filling my cargo and then I drive off to the bank and I deposit it. Um, what I would do tomorrow is I would fill the cargo and then once it's filled, I will begin cleaning and then just put two crewmates on the salvaging hooks. Um, so that's basically the entire process of how I do it. If you have any questions, um, ask in the comments. You can also uh, write to me in game. I have my private on, but crown fuck so. Um, I'm probably going to post this on Reddit as well. So I'm going to post the link to the Reddit thread in the description as well. So yeah, this is an overall explanation on how I do everything. And I wish you the best of luck getting salvaging.